So you want to lose five kilograms of fat, come in. I can appreciate that maybe five kilograms doesn't seem like a huge amount of weight, but if you saw it like this instead, maybe it does seem like quite a lot of weight. I've been a personal trainer for nine years now, and I'm gonna take you through some of the do's and don'ts that I've used to help people lose five kilograms. Now for many trainers, their first point of action is to find out what body fat percentage you're at. They take a bit of fat and they'll pinch it. And they'll go, oh yeah, you're fat as fuck, mate. The fat caliper is something that I've never used with any of my clients because I don't really care where your start point is. What I care is where your next point of progress is. And let's say your goal is to lose five kilograms of fat. Let's change that up. It's not to lose five kilograms, it's to lose one kilogram five times. Sure, this is your overall goal, but I think this is the first one you should really aim for. Now there is a certain amount of calories that you will lose fat on and it's up for you to determine what that amount is. There'll also be a calorie calculator in the description that you can use to determine a start point calorie deficit for you. Now, once you implement that calorie deficit, it could take a week, it could take a month, it could take any amount of time for you to lose that first kilogram of fat. So we now wanna implement things we can to ensure that period of time isn't longer than it needs to be. Now, one of the first things we're gonna to wanna to do is implement some form of resistance training. And if you wanna get yourself a free program, you can get one on the trial of my online personal training platform. I'll put the link in the description for that as well, but that's not the purpose of this video. Another thing that's gonna speed up how quick you can lose that amount of weight is eating a high protein diet. Whether your goal is to gain muscle or whether it's to lose fat, eating a high protein diet only keeps you fuller between meals. Not only does it mean we burn more calories through creating heat in the digestion of these foods that are high in protein, it also means that you have to plan your meals a little bit better. And one of my final golden rules to when it comes to losing fat and keeping it off is to maintain a decent amount of activity outside of the gym. Everyone seems to argue about what is the best amount of steps you could do a day, and this is the way I put it. I'm not saying that 10,000 steps a day is a prerequisite you need to hit for fat loss, but one thing that's very important is that you are hitting as many steps a day as you can. That's all I'm asking, as you can. If the stairs present themselves, fucking take them. If you're on an escalator, move up it. If you have the opportunity to lose your legs, then please use them. Because when I say as many steps a day as possible, I mean it. Whenever there is the opportunity to use your legs, please use it. Please do not underestimate the impact of this in fat loss. And when taking the stairs, it's not as if you're burning huge amounts of calories and walking up the stairs. This is more of an attitude thing. You are now someone that takes the stairs given the opportunity, AKA, you're not a lazy fuck. And this may not even burn a calorie, but these habits compounded over time can make the difference between you doing someone that does pretty well at losing fat and someone who's fucking good at losing fat. Because here's my last point. This fat loss isn't gonna be permanent. I lose five kilograms probably every three months. And then a few months later, I need to do it again because I've gained it all. Because here's the main thing the fitness industry aren't gonna tell you. Weight gain is cyclical. It comes and it goes. You're gonna go through periods of being motivated and periods where you can't be fucked. But that's normal. And the most important take home out of all of this is this. Gaining weight isn't a problem. Not knowing how to lose weight is the problem. I'm traveling to America in December. What, you don't think I'm gonna gain five kilograms? Behave. I was just back in the United Kingdom for two weeks seeing my family. My mum was cooking sausage rolls for me every day. Don't think I'm gonna gain five kilograms. Behave. But as long as you can create a system that works for fat loss, whether it's counting calories, intermittent fasting, one meal a day, whatever it is, maintaining a good step count, hitting a resistance training session and hitting as many steps as you can a day, you will lose the weight. If you break down your goal into small enough chunks that you can see progress and re-motivate yourself, you'll be fine. And remember, set a fat loss goal that's sensible because there's no point giving up 95% of your life in a bid to change 5% of your body weight. So I've given you the tools that you need. You can use the calorie calculator in the link in my bio. And if you want access to a free trial of my online personal training platform, you can. We'll even write you a program as part of the trial. And if you don't want to give me your money and you want to do a run with the fucking program, I'm not going to call the police. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.